Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, a 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this problem with you as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's question comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson 12 of the Biology 2 module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem on your own before watching my explanation. So to really ace this question, we need to understand the fetal circulation system, which can be confusing at times because it's a little different from an adult circu circulatory system. And so I want to explain it to you in a way that's gonna help you remember. The number one thing that you should remember with the circulatory system, especially the fetal circulatory system, is that arteries start with A, and so arteries are always going to take blood away from the heart. It doesn't matter if that blood has oxygen in it or not, arteries always take blood away from the heart. That's the key there. Whereas veins are gonna bring blood back towards the heart. So in this case, the fetus is going to get via the umbilical cord, it's going to get oxygenated blood from the placenta. And that oxygenated blood is going to come through here in this umbilical vein. And this is really confusing for us because we're used to veins not having a lot of oxygen in the blood, but it's a vein because it's taking blood towards the heart. That makes it a vein. So this vein, as it comes through, it's going to go through the ductus venosus, remember vein venosus, and it's going to connect to the inferior vena cava. Maybe that can help you remember too, because the inferior vena cava is a really important vein. And so it would make sense that the umbilical vein would connect to the vena cava. That's going to bring the blood to the heart. Then what's going to happen is that blood is going to get pumped into the aorta and through here as well, but via something but called the ductus arteriosus, it's going to bypass the lungs because the lungs aren't working. There's no oxygen, there's no air essentially floating around in the womb. And so the lungs aren't being used. So it'll bypass it, they'll come together, all that blood from the heart will go into the aorta. And remember, away from the heart, it's going to come into the umbilical arteries. And the umbilical arteries away from the heart carry that deoxygenated blood back to the placenta where it can be reoxygenated. Kind of confusing. Hopefully that helps you keep it straight. With that knowledge, let's go tackle this question. So this question is essentially asking us, how does oxygenated blood get to the fetus? We're going to want to remember what we were just talking about. Let's go ahead and work through these answer options. We'll start with the first one. The umbilical artery brings blood towards the fetal heart. Uh oh, that's a red flag right there. Because remember, artery, A for artery, A for away, it's going to bring blood away from the heart, not towards the heart. That's always the case, okay? So that's going to be incorrect. Next, the fetus performs gas exchange at the level of the fluid-filled alveoli. So alveoli, those are in the lungs. There's gas exchange happening there in a normal person as they breathe in, they breathe out. But remember, the fetus in the womb is floating in liquid, so the lungs aren't being used in that way. That's going to be incorrect as well. We'll skip this third option for now. We'll come back to it. For now, let's go to the fourth one. The umbilical vein brings blood towards the fetal heart, so far so good, and shunts it directly to the lungs via the ductus arteriosus. Well, a couple problems here. Remember what we were talking about. First off, the lungs aren't being used in the way that they traditionally are, and so blood is not going to be shunted directly to the lungs. If anything, that blood gets shunted away from the lungs because that blood doesn't need to pick up oxygen at the lungs. And so that blood is going to go be connected into the aorta via the ductus arteriosus. So the ductus arteriosus actually does the opposite of what we're saying. Also, remember that the umbilical, the umbilical vein, vein venosus, the umbilical vein actually connects up to the ductus venosus. So this is going to be incorrect. And here we go. The umbilical vein brings blood towards the fetal heart. This is our last option and merges with the inferior vena, vena cava, which makes sense, right? Vena cava, we know that's a big vein, makes sense that these veins would connect. They do that via the ductus venosus. So this is going to be our correct answer. Let's check it. Awesome. Perfect. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. If you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.